Hey, what's up guys? John Sunmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. And I wanted to tell you about a very special opportunity that I have today. I've got a, a good friend of mine, Kazi from Clever Programmer, and he's putting on a, a special class, a, a Python master class that uh, is really interesting. And I wanted to just take a, a moment, you guys, thanks for, for checking this out. Uh, it's gonna be totally worth your time. I, I gotta tell you right now though, uh, you know, turn off all of your, your cell phones, your, your notifications, distractions, all that stuff, uh, because you're gonna wanna really pay attention and stay to the end of this video because we've got some really valuable uh, information here, especially if you've ever wanted to become a Python developer, if you've wanted to do freelancing work, become a freelancer, you know, get out on your own and, and make a living for yourself without working for someone else, or even if you just want to make some money on the side, you know, there's, uh, there's some huge earning potentials up to making like 300 bucks an hour as a freelance pr uh, Python developer. And I've got the expert here, Kazi, who's done it all, who's coached people doing this. So, uh, so welcome, Kazi. Hey, thanks for having me, John. So, uh, so Kazi, what, uh, what's, what's going on, man? I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, you know, really, uh, as, when you're telling me about this, I was, I was pretty excited and I wanted to let everyone know about this, but, um, you know, I, I got to ask you, like, you know, I'm a C-sharp developer. So why should, why should people become Python developers? I like C-sharp. What's, what's the, why is it Python getting so damn popular right now? Absolutely, man. So Python is the the few there are a few amazing things that I love about Python and that are just true about Python in general. So for example, it's one of the easiest programming languages. It's one of the fastest growing programming languages. So even as data science is growing and data analytics is growing by 20, uh, I believe by 2030, Forbes has predicted that, you know, uh, 800 million jobs are going to be given to AI. Wow. So for example, even Lyft right now has self-driving cars. Pretty soon Uber is going to have them. And a lot of that is run off of Python. Even recently, they actually detected a black hole and oh, yeah. they, they took a picture of it. That was done with Python. You know? okay. yeah. uh, uh, and Netflix just released an article a few days ago where they shared that every film, every movie that you actually watch is being powered by Python in the back end. So, you know, things like Instagram are built off of it. YouTube uh, is built off of it. So it has so much potential and it's only growing. So and that is why I prefer and uh, just recommend wholeheartedly going Python. You know, if someone's getting started in software development, is, is Python the easy, is it an easy language for them to learn? Yeah, so perfect. Python is at one of the easiest programming languages to learn. And if you look at all the universities, right, and you actually look at their statistics and data, mm. all of them are switching over from Java or any other programming language to Python. So, really? okay. yeah, so you'll see like all these universities switching over to Python primarily because of how simple it is, but it's not, but you can't uh, think it's so simple. It's not that it's not powerful. You know, it's deceptively simple, but it's still powerful. So people from, again, like Instagram to NASA scientists are using Python, you know, on their day-to-day -day base. So if you're a complete beginner, that's perfect. You'll be able to pick it up really quickly. And then the great thing about it is as a developer, it allows you to be maximally productive. So then actually you can just go on to get freelancing clients, build projects as fast as possible. And uh, it lets you use all of the, you know, it's batteries included, so to speak. So it lets you leverage all of its libraries and tools to build real world projects really, really fast. That way you earn your income, your client gets your results, both parties are happy. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, so that makes sense. I mean, if it's something that's easy to learn and then it has a very high potential uh, you know, down the road, then it's, it's a good path to be on, yeah. uh, especially now, now. What about uh, freelancing, right? Because I know this is one of the things that you're really going to cover in this master class. It's not just, uh, you know, it's not just about learning to become a Python developer, but it's also about, you know, becoming a freelancer and making money freelancing. What, you know, why freelancing? Why not just get the regular job? Yep. So that's a great question. For me, honestly, it was, I wanted to become a remote developer. I wanted to do freelancing because I had to be, when I was growing up and I used to live with my mom. So I wanted to be able to be near my mom and help her a lot because she was oftentimes sick or my dad wouldn't be there. And he was in Afghanistan, you know, as a uh, military uh, and he was doing translation. 
So for me, it was really important to be able to do something where I could be near my family and still earn an income and not be bounded by anything. Then I came to discover that there are a lot of other benefits like being able to work on my own hours. Right, exactly, yeah. And be able to work with the type of clients that I actually enjoy working with and not necessarily have one boss. I remember I read your book many mm. years ago, it's the soft skills. And you had, you talked about this one concept, which is, which sticks to me till this day, which is if you should look at a job, like it's just one client. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. It's mm. one big client, but it's still one client. So your business in a sense is really weak. If you look at yourself like a business, so if you actually go to the freelancing route where you start to have multiple clients, now you have a really, really strong business. You have freedom to choose your own hours. You have freedom to choose who you work with. You can travel and most importantly, be around the people that you love. So that's why I, I'm such a big proponent of freelancing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with all of that. You know, I did freelancing for a while and, you know, I mean, I was eventually able to build like $300 an hour as yeah. a freelancer. And yes. I, I thought that was just, it was insane. I, yes. I couldn't believe that that was possible when I was working these regular jobs for such a long time, but now I had this freedom and heck I could work like if I wanted to 20 hours a week and make more money than, than I was making when I was making working 40 hours a week. Yes. Yes. So guys also, I want to let you know, like, uh, Kazi mentioned soft skills. It's kind of interesting. We have, uh, we just met up in LA for the first time yes. uh, about, uh, about a, a couple of weeks ago. And it was kind of cool to like see his story. If you guys have been following, if not, you know, you should definitely check out his, his stuff uh, on Clever Programmer. But uh, he was telling me about how he first read soft skills and how that kind of really launched him in this direction. And he's built up this awesome empire, you know, huge YouTube channel, uh, awesome courses, like doing yeah. everything right and building this business. And like, so it's, it's just an example, you know, of, of what, what, can, what can happen. And so that's why, that's why also guys that I'm, you know, it, it's not just that, uh, that I'm, uh, that, that I'm trying to get you to sign up for this master class, right? Because I think there's a huge benefit in it. But also the thing is like, this is someone that I trust, right, Kazi, because he's implemented what I wrote in soft skills and he's made it work. So he's actually taken the action and, and done that. So I think he's just a great example of someone to, to listen to and follow because he's actually done the steps, right? He's not just, you know, it's sometimes I think you guys think, oh, well, you know, someone like John is just an outlier and uh, it's, you know, anyone can do this if they're willing to take the, those steps. So, right. so there you go. Yeah, I 100% agree. I think ultimately it comes down to choices. I think it's just as hard and just as equally easy working at McDonald's versus charging $300 as a Python consultant. I think it's just as easy to work a minimum wage job as it is to even start your own business. So ultimately it comes down to what choices do you like, what choices do you make, right? That's what defines your path and your direction. Like for example, I could just pick up a can of soda and drink it right now, or just as easily I could pick up water and drink it. Right. Yeah. In that time, they're both really easy. And like, you know, you and I were sitting in LA and you were like, always think five years ahead. Now, if you think five years ahead, where do you need to invest your time to get the maximal return? And oftentimes it's actually not in doing the easy things. It's right. sometimes doing, um, you know, going after the harder things. So you know, if you choose to go down this route of trying to become a freelancer, sometimes initially it seems harder because, oh man, the job, one client and I'm making 50K, 60K, maybe more. But with freelancing, that might not be happening right in the start. But if you actually decide to do this, and I think the right way to do it is don't quit your job if you're right. a developer first replace your income, like first either start generating side income or replace your income. And now you have the choice to quit your job. But in the end, what you'll have is freedom. And I think that is what's truly priceless. Right. And even if someone didn't want to, like, you know, if, if, if someone's listening and they're, they're happy, they like their developer job, right? 
but maybe they want to make some extra income on the side, or maybe they just want to work on projects that are fun. Right. That was one of the things like, I think that pulled me into doing some freelancing is I was yeah. like, yeah, I like the corporate job and stuff, but I want to work with this new cool technology. Right. In fact, yeah. I think one of the first freelancing things I did was I really liked creating automation frameworks and doing iOS development. And I couldn't really do that with my job. So, you know, that it's a good way to make some extra income and then you can kind of decide maybe you're making enough, so much income from the freelancing, which is what happened to me that you quit your job and then you just do that full time. So maybe you don't even have it planned, but hey, you know, get, making enough money to cover your mortgage every month, that's, it's like living for free. That's right. That's a great way to look at it. You can, yeah, if you cover your expenses or your mortgage or your rent, I think that is a great thing to be able to do with it too. Because then everything you make from your job is essentially close to pure profit. Yeah, cool. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, we should talk a little bit about what's, what's going to be in the, the masterclass. Oh, by the way, guys, I did want to tell you, I just remembered uh, when we went up to LA, this guy, Kazi, he's uh, he's a power lifter. So, you know, not only is he, you know, a super smart developer and, uh, and can teach you everything about freelancing, but he lives the life. He lives the simple programmer, the, yep. you know, the, the life. He can also kick your ass. No, I'm yes. kidding. <laughs> yeah. He's a boxer. He's doing Muay Thai. Yeah. So, you know, uh, talk about lifestyle of, of not being the typical nerd. I know a lot of you, you follow me because that's that's you and you know Kazi Kazi is one of us so but let's yeah. talk about the masterclass so so why should people sign up for this what are you going to give them in this right you know I, I know some people are like ah, I don't really need to learn Python or I'm not sure if I want to be a freelance developer but yeah. um, why should they you know just like stick around and just at least check out this masterclass oh, and hear what you have to say so many reasons so many reasons first of all this class is just epic um, like it's just so entertaining to watch but more, more importantly, if we look at the really valuable stuff that you get out of it is that it shows you your Python earning potential. So okay. even if you are just mildly curious about this, right, going into it and really knowing what type of realistically, what type of earning potential you could have based on the number of clients, based on a certain number of hours. And I even give you a downloadable uh, worksheet essentially, which is plug and play. So you can get your own sheet and see how much your earning income potential is. At which point you could look at it and go, I think I want to pursue this. Or you could go, I don't think I want to pursue this. Okay. Okay. So, so definitely they should at least like, in fact, right now, if you're watching, go sign up now. You can finish yeah. watching the video after you sign up, but otherwise you're not going to get this calculator and yeah. you should definitely at least find that out, right? Even if you don't yeah. watch anything else, at least if you know what your potential is, you owe that to yourself. Otherwise right. you're just, you're just closing a door. That's, that's possible. Right. And the most important thing I want to say about this entire masterclass, it really paves the way and makes it super clear for you how to go from zero to becoming a six-figure developer. Now, if you're already halfway there, then the concepts are gonna be even easier for you to understand. Right. But it really creates a clear step-by-step -step roadmap. And we give you a calculator that you can take away. We give you a, a downloadable roadmap that is gonna be essentially yours. And uh, we give you a downloadable portfolio. So worst case scenario, you leave with the portfolio that can potentially help you land jobs. This is a tested and proven portfolio. Mm -hmm. You get a roadmap that you can use. So even if you just come out of curiosity to download these things, I believe that you're still going to find a lot of value in this. Right. Exactly. And this masterclass is totally free, right? Oh yeah. It's totally free. That's right. Okay. So yeah, there's really no reason to not, not check this out. So, um, so yeah, so guys definitely, you know, click sign up, make sure before you miss this opportunity. Cause I don't know if, if this is going to be offered again and uh, I know there's some huge value here. So what, what else, what other kind of surprises and bonus you said it's entertaining. Why is it entertaining? So it's, I mean, it's shot. It's really high quality. It was made with a lot of love and passion. So yeah. just the quality of it is great. And you will find a lot of, you know, there's some funny moments in it, but most importantly, I show you not just like the nerdy stuff to go from, you know, one point to another point, but I actually show you real world tangible projects that you can develop. And for example, I share with you my first $20,000 contract that I got. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay. Like I actually share with you the invoice. I share with you the exact first project I built to make my $20,000. I share with you how I charged one of my clients, how I went from $50 to $100 an hour. Nice. Right? So those are all really tangible things that you get out of watching this because I don't think 
a lot of people are sharing that. I don't think a lot of people are sharing specifically the project that they built and specifically how much they got paid. I also share with you how, you know, within my first year, I actually went from zero to making $104,000 a year as a Python freelancer, like complete beginner, just actually started learning programming. And I skipped a lot of steps because I had lots of mentors. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's essentially what we want to be able to help you do as well. Like just give you all the tools. So then it takes, it takes away months and hopefully, you know, maybe even multiple months off your timeline to actually get to where you want to go. Awesome. Okay. Well, awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm sold. Let's do it. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. So make sure you sign up. Like I said, you know, this isn't going to be available uh, for very much longer. So you want to get in while you can, uh, you know, and, uh, and check it out. It's a free class, free, my, uh, you know, masterclass on Python. You're going to learn, you know, how, how to become a freelance developer, how to get started learning Python, the, the roadmap, you know, the, the calculator and, uh, in, in a lot of, a lot in the portfolio, the valuable portfolio. So go sign up right now and, uh, and we'll see you inside. Awesome. Love to see you inside, guys. Please sign up, and I'm really excited. Thanks for having me, John.